Ben? Okay. So how did Shanna White handle different voters' uh, information in, differently than other voters? Did she treat one group differently than the other? Um, did anyone else influence her decisions, do you think, on that? I mean, did someone come in and her pattern of behavior change? So um, the regular way that I would handle registration cards, affidavit cards, I would, um, they would come in, I would put them um, in a batch, I would scan them through, and this is for any voter in the county. Um, <clears throat> and the batches, all they were was because you couldn't have more than 10 go through the scanner. It wasn't a batch, you know, it's, you know, this address or these people, you know, they were just strictly to limit the number that scanned through. And when you scanned them, did you use a hand scanner, like the gun type, or was there a different method? There's a machine um, that, that you put 10 in and it scans through, and it scans them into the DIMS system, which is the election, uh, I, I don't know exactly what it is, like what it's called other than DIMS, but it is, supposed to tie county, um, each county in California together. Um, anyway. It's the, so, entry, it's the entry yeah. system for the database. Right, yeah, thank you, Mike. <laughs> um, so I would, you know, just scan registration cards through, you know, capture signatures, enter information. That was the regular process of an affidavit card. Um, uh, towards the end of um, being able to register for the June 2016 election. Um, John Finley came into Shanna's office. He would come in quite often, him and his partner uh, would come in and- Who, Who's his partner? I don't know what his name Jose? is. Jose? Jose, yeah. Who it was? Okay. Yeah. Um, that's him. And they would go in Shanna's office. Um, they never would speak, um, you know, Shanna and John Finley would never speak to each other you know, other than, oh, hey, John, come over, you know, that kind of thing. But any personal or any kind of business at all was behind closed doors. Um, the only person that could have possibly heard anything that was going on in that office was uh, Julie Barcelona, just because um, Shannon and Julie's offices are conjoined, um, but are adjoined. Um, <clears throat> so after he was coming in towards the end of um, registering for the June 16 election, she started asking me um, any any voter or any registration card that was um, you know if, if they were Hmong, um, pretty much anybody from District Five, which is John Finley's district. She wanted I would take a copy of the registration card for myself to prove that I received it, you know, with the date stamp on it, um, and and I would I gave them all to Shanna. She requested that I give anybody from District Five she wanted their registration card um, to, I, I don't know why. And John Finley's the supervisor for District 5. Yes, yeah. So I don't know, I did not hear him, you know, I didn't hear that things needed to be handled different for diff District 5. I just know what I was told and the process was not the same for District 5, um, you know, towards the end of registering for the June 16 election.